Well, if you've been following along, you'll know that we've been talking about the past two videos, and this will be the final video, on PCIe expansions for your M.2, primarily the NVMe ones. So yeah, if you run out of M.2 slots on your motherboard, well, you gotta go to the PCIe Express lanes, or you have to have an external drive and plug it into your fastest USB port that is available to you. But this one's going to be interesting, and I got some new ones here. These are by Icy Dock, and these are the Tough Armor. No tools required. And before I pull this out, this is where we're going to cut. So don't go anywhere, and we'll get busy with this. All right, so yeah, these are made by Tough Armor, and as I pull it out of the package here, it just comes in a basic cardboard. You got some documentation. Actually, there are instructions on how to get the drive in there and, uh, and whatnot. Otherwise, you get an anti-static bag here. Now, since this is already set up for bifurcation, as you saw and you should see in the last video, I'm not gonna demonstrate that again, so, if you want to know how to turn that or enable that in your BIOS, specifically on an ASUS, now other motherboards probably have something similar, then you need to um, watch that last video. Otherwise, the computer's already set up for that. So I figured I've got two of these. One is a single port. This is a dual port. And then I have one that's a single port that I may pull out and just show you. But this one can support two NVMEs. How exciting is that? If that's not exciting enough, guess what? These are hot swappable, meaning this sticks out the back of your PC and with a push of a button right there, you can see how it's it came out right there. So right there and I forget where I push it. Where do I push it? Right there. This just slides out like that and what you do is it has little instructions on here you can kind of you can kind of see what's got to happen and we got to push down here which opens that up we take that out and put our drive in like so oops like like that, so it's sticking out. So you can see the drive. Oop. So you see the notch is right there now. See how it is? I got it flipped over. Because if you put it this way, it really doesn't fit in there properly. So, and also you can see right there, see it's got a little notch on it. See right there? Kind of hard to tell, but yeah, right there. It's got that notch right there. So that indicates where that's got to go, just like that, into that notch. I'll do this again. And then we just reverse this. We put this over like that, put that down, and presto. Oh, I did forget a step. I, sorry. Yeah, because that, that drive just fell apart. So this part right here actually slides. And that will stay locked in there. Put this back on. Put that in. Now the drive's not going anywhere. Now you can take it and slip it back in. Like that. Now we're going to do the other one. Take it out. Hit this part right here. That pops up, take that off. This is the Gen 3 NVMe. We got that notch. I'll try to get a little closer this time. Got that notch right there. So we have to line that notch up 
with right there. Drop it in. Slide this forward. And that's, it just kind of stays there. It's funny. I don't know how it stays there, but then we put that in like there, push this side down. Oop. That in. That's down and it doesn't move. That's locked in. And we're gonna take our drive and put it back in just like that. Just like that. Exactly like that. Why isn't this going in? Hmm. There we go. Might be a little easier when you're behind the computer doing this. Now, this is gonna go in your PCI Express slot. As long as you have bifurcation on, it'll recognize both the drives. Again, it makes this though, the graphics card go from a by 16 to a by eight. So we're gonna install this right down here. Somewhere, trying to get it. There we go. We're gonna put one uh, screw here just to hold it up in place. And we're gonna get this thing started up, booted up, and make sure it sees both the drives. Now, I, it does come with thermal pads. I'm just not gonna install them right now. All right, we are booted up. Now, I did not, I, these drives that I already have in there are already initialized. If they were not initialized, you would come down here. This is Windows 10, but it's the same as Windows 11. Just come to the Start menu, do a right click, and go up to Disk Management. When you open Disk Management, it should auto-populate with all of your drives, okay? That's what should happen. But see, we are seeing our volume E and our volume D. So we are all set. I only have three drives total in this machine now. So it is seeing them. Look at that. We have our, um, <clears throat> the C drive is the only drive I have in here for the boot drive. And then right here we have our D and our E. So those two are the ones that are in that icy dock. So what we wanna find out is if this is truly hot swappable. And now let's watch. Let's watch which one <clears throat> actually, here, I'll zoom you back out so you act, can actually see me physically. I'm gonna point you in just a little bit more in this direction. So I'm gonna come around here and we have green lights on the back of this, by the way. There's a, uh, uh, Maybe I'll get a screenshot of it or a picture for you, but there are two green lights indicating. So let's see which one does this. This is supposed to be hot swappable. So I didn't see anything change there, but I don't know if you have, have to eject it or not, but let's do a refresh. Um, so it's still showing it. So that's interesting. Let's, um, check it again. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, that's definitely not hot swappable if, uh, if it's not disappearing. I led you and myself down the wrong path uh, thinking that these were hot swappable, they're not. So I know this kind of came at the end of the video, but um, they're removable. That's what it says online, not swappable or uh, hot swap. So hot swap would mean you can leave the computer running, you can take them in, put them out, take them in, put them out, uh, just kind of like a USB port. Uh, that is not the case. Um, so, which is fine. Uh, where these would benefit you is if you had you know, a bunch of stuff in there, you know, or the computer was in a spot where you can't get to if you don't, because even when you shut it down, you may have to take the graphics card out. 
uh, it's really hard to get this in and out, uh, even with the graphics card in there uh, on this machine. So it's very easy just to hit these buttons and get these drives to come out. And then you just swap it to a different drive or take this, I don't know what you would do with this or why you would want to hot swap these. You'd have to have, it's kind of weird. So I, I don't, I can't figure out a really good purpose because then what you would have to do with this is you, if you took this to another computer, you would have to take this out and put it in an enclosure. So not too big of a fan for these. Um, I'd rather just something permanent in there and take the glass panel off. I, I mean, the only other reason why this would be quick and easy is if you had a drive that failed. If you had one of these that failed, you could swap it out real quick. That's about it. So other than that, you know, the other unit that I got here, I'm not even going to bother taking it out of the box. I'm going to send that back because um, I'm not going to use these. But, uh, you know, if they were hot swappable, I'd recommend them. Since they're not, I kind of can't recommend those. But it, it was an interesting video to see how uh, they work. Anyway, uh, feel free to leave the comments down below. And I'm expecting some comments for this one. This one was a doozy. Uh, especially, I went through the whole thing thinking they're hot swappable. Instead of redoing the whole video, i just trying to be honest and true. Uh, even I make mistakes and faults. And um, it's just... I was led on to believe, not that it was anybody's fault, but mine. And then I led you guys to believe that it was something that it was not. But that's okay. Uh, live and learn, crash and burn, right? So, uh, yeah, feel free to leave your comments down below. Uh, and also, you know, give this thing a thumbs up anyway, just to show support for getting in front of the camera and making a mistake. And still showing it. So, you know, I just felt, it, I, you know, I shouldn't go back and redo the video uh, just because I made that mistake. You're still getting the education of how it's used and, how, and you know, the before one, how to set up bifurcation. Uh, so that's the only way that you can see two drives with this particular one. So uh, also consider subscribing if you have not subscribed yet and hit that little bell icon next to the subscription button to get notified for any future videos that I do post. And keep those smiles going. And until next time, take care.